Centroid turnkey port and block systems. Everything you need to be successful. CAD and CAM software, fixtures, tooling, training, and unmatched customer support. If you can dream it, you can cut it with a Centroid. All right, now, so, like I told you, I was impressed at how this goes. Now, see, the head only goes up and down like that. The head only goes straight up and down. So it is actually moving the part in as the head is going down on the perfect angle in order to make that drill hole. It is not drilling a hole like this. It's drilling a hole going straight down. But anyway, so it's super cool. You can see here we built this fixture for the plate to, uh, Brock's gonna turn the cylinder head around so we could actually mount it on the fourth axis. And you can see here now we're doing the cylinder head ends. And uh, you can see this is a water passage right there. And you can see all the way through it. And then there's a water passage right there. If I had a light, I'd show you the, all the way through. But this is a covered up plate. Uh, this uh, is an ORB plug right up here that we haven't done yet and roll the rest of the way over. So it goes up, does that end, drills water passages lengthwise, and then comes over, does the other side, does all this. And then again, water passage, water passage, and it still has uh, connectors that go from here up to here, then here up down into there. And so be working on uh, uh, putting it back in the other fixture plate in order to do uh, the ends, I'm gonna roll it just a little bit, which will finish off this, and then we'll finish off the, uh, with the water jacketing, because obviously you can see there's not doing going into water jacketing yet, but it will. And then we got a machine up through here and then put all the water jacketing, all the pockets, all through here. So uh, really just, can't be happier, happier. I think it's just going really, really well. Machine's just working awesome. Everything's uh, just really cool. And the rigidity of this, this is what I think is cool too. Flip this back around, right? I'm drilling these holes, and for end, if you could, if I had a light here, you can see, but uh, they meet, you can't drill it all the way through, so you have to meet from both ends. So it comes in this end, and flips the head over, and then drills the other side of the hole, and the, there can't be much more than five thousandths of misalignment. It is uh, super cool. Both both holes, just this crazy, uh, crazy good. Let's see if I can get that in there. Well, I can't. Anyways, crazy good. Super happy with that. Uh, accurate. Flips over. Goes into that rotary. Really good. Yeah, it's it's really hard to see. When you purchase SBI valve train components, that blue and yellow box represents 40 years of industry knowledge, R&D, quality that exceeds OEM standards, and outstanding customer service, as well as a dedicated team, ready to help no matter your application needs. That's how SBI keeps engines humming. All right, update uh, part three. So you can see here, we've been working on the water jacketing all through the top side here, or actually this is under the exhaust. Water goes in here, circulates through, then crosses up over in between the exhaust ports and spark plug hole, comes up. Okay, actually comes up through this passage here, which is a, <laughs> a pretty neat little deal we got going on. It, uh, I'll, it's better to show you, but it actually comes through here and then comes down ah, to this side, and there is the feed hole from up and over, and just haven't gotten around to cutting this all out yet either. So we're gonna cut all this out, and then pocket these insides for the inside water jacketry, and then those holes go to the ends right there. So making a lot of progress. You can see the ports are all done. You wanna roll back over the top. There you go. And, uh, you can see all the ports. Now you do notice here too, extremely large hole for a guide because I'm using the same guide program as what I do for the SMXs that we learned works best for the uh, uh, driving portion. Drag race don't freaking matter. It's a driving portion and extreme heat and uh, length of time. So the intake guide is a standard deal. This is my custom deal that I'm making. Uh, this is that head bolt hole that goes down through, caps through the intake port. 
little bit more, there you go. Here you can see that's the access port, hole in the bottom, intake ports. Looking good. Water jacket's not done right there. Combustion chambers are finalized. We're going to rough and cut this for the seats. Guides are all done and water is just about all done. So uh, you're getting very close to having this thing uh, all done. And I'm gonna do an interesting thing where we're actually gonna weigh this thing because I did weigh it. That piece of material weighs 108 pounds. No machining. So. We're gonna see how much uh, chips this thing makes in order to do this, but uh, making a lot of progress, super happy with everything. Uh, machine work is looking really nice, super happy with that. You can look in there, I mean, that's really nice and looking machine work, which is what I really want to have. Uh, nobody ever sees this, but I do. But people do see all this, and just really nice fit and finish work is what we're working on. So. Just another update for you, and hopefully the next update will be a finalized piece. Engine Quest, your home for new OE type replacement and performance engine parts and cores. For our full line of products, visit enginequest.com or call 1-800-426-8771. Engine Quest, the name you trust for engine parts, cores, and recycling.